oh my goodness my skin looks and feels absolutely amazing i am just in shock hi guys so for the past seven days i have been using the aztec clay mask and apple cider vinegar every single night. I've read from multiple sources online that when you first start to use the Aztec clay mask, it's beneficial to use it every day for seven days, and then the next week do two to three times a week, and then the next week do one to two times that week, and then the next week just do once a week. So apparently it's like a really deep cleanse for your skin. Now, I'm not a newbie when it comes to the Aztec clay mask. I have used it before, but it's been like four years or three years since I've used it, so I just wanted to try it again. This whole week I have been experiencing a lot of things related to this Aztec clay mask challenge but I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you guys want to see how this worked for me then just keep on watching but before I get into the video I just want to explain why I wanted to do this in the first place so I'm sure you guys can see although I do have makeup on that I'm not dealing with that much acne right now so I used to deal with a lot of acne I had intense breakouts in my forehead and my jawline those are gone for the most part the main thing that I'm dealing with right now is acne scars and there's a lot of acne scars and when I don't have makeup on I feel like it looks like I'm breaking out because the acne scars are so red so I was hoping that maybe the Aztec clay mask would help with that also throughout this entire video I was PMSing and when I'm PMSing one of the main things that happens to me is that I break out so the entire month I'm good with breakouts but once the week before my period comes then my skin decides to screw me over and I get a lot of breakouts so I just wanted to see if maybe the Aztec clay mask would be a remedy for my PMS breakouts and my acne scars. So if you guys are interested to see how the seven day Aztec clay mask worked out for me and how to make the Aztec clay mask and everything like that, then just keep on watching. So really quick, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to see more of my beauty videos. Also, I have an Instagram, which I will put on the screen. I love and appreciate all of you and let's get into the video. So this is day one for the Aztec clay mask seven day challenge. So here I have the Aztec clay mask itself and then I have the apple cider vinegar. And then I also have this cute little bowl, wooden bowl and wooden spoon, it's really small. And then I have a silicone brush. So these are all the tools that I have to do this seven day Aztec clay mask challenge. And just because my skin feels so dry, I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what my skin looks like up close so we can do it before and after. And then I'm just gonna start applying the mask. So, hello, again, this is what my skin looks like after I've washed my face. So if it seems a little bit dry, that's because I have not applied any moisturizer on yet. I feel like my skin looks pretty good right now. The main thing that I'm dealing with is a little bit of redness and just my acne scars. As a lot of you guys know, I used to suffer from acne on my forehead and I would get it like a lot. I would constantly have breakouts on my forehead. And because of that, I'm dealing with a lot of acne scars and I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a lot right up here. I still get acne on my hairline. And then I also have some acne scars on my cheek here and my jawline. My acne is pretty much gone now, but the scars are still there. Okay, so I'm wearing a green shirt because I haven't made this mask in a while and I feel like this is about to get messy. Okay, I haven't done this in so long, but let's make it. All right, so let's apply this mask. Okay, it looks like I made too much, but oh well, that's good to know for tomorrow. All right, so the mask is on and I'm gonna wait. I forget how long I have to wait. Where is the mask? I am going to wait 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm just gonna take a shower and wash it off. I totally forgot, but now that I'm reading that, I remember that when you're using this, your face pulsates because apparently it's helping to pull everything out of the pores and just basically detoxify your skin. All right, so my face is really pulsing. It's crazy. I can feel, especially here, it's like going in and out and in and out and like here too. Oh my gosh. So I definitely need to go take a shower and wash this off, but I just wanted to show you guys up close what it looks like. So this is what it looks like and it's definitely making my skin pulse. So I've left this on for 15 minutes now. I'm gonna go take a shower. And it actually feels kind of good, but yeah, I really need to go take a shower and wash this off, so I will be back. All right, so I just got out of the shower. Granted, I did take a pretty hot shower, but my skin looks so red, and it's definitely from the mask. If anything, this just proves that the mask is definitely working. Anytime I use any other mask after I've used it, it doesn't really 
do anything in terms of making my skin red, but I can just tell that this mask is working. Okay, so as you guys know, I talk about this all the time. The moisturizer combo that I use is jojoba oil and tea tree oil. So let me just apply some of this to my face and then we will be done with day one. My skin looks so freaking red. Wow. I look like a tomato. I know you're not supposed to touch your face, but oh my goodness. Okay, so hopefully tomorrow morning the redness goes down. I'm sure that this is just because the mask was working really hard to get all of the impurities and dirt and stuff out of my skin. So on to tomorrow. All right, so it is day two now and my skin for the most part looks the same except I have a pimple right here and it's one of the really annoying ones that's sort of underneath the skin. And as of today, it made its way out. I'm wondering if that was laying like dormant and then the Aztec clay mask yesterday just ignited it to come out of its shell and turn into a pimple. So but other than that, my skin feels and looks normal. I guess my forehead was looking a little red today. I don't know, it could be the mask, it could be normal and I'm just hyper focusing on it because I'm looking for differences in my skin because of this mask. But we're gonna do this again today. And of course I'm not gonna use the wooden bowl again like I did yesterday. This is what my skin looks like. I feel like it doesn't look that much different from yesterday besides this thing. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I put this on my lips. Also, I am washing my hair tonight, so I'm not that concerned about getting in my hair because I'm just gonna wash it out in the shower. And I've actually heard that Aztec clay mask is pretty good for your hair, so I might actually look into doing this as a hair mask as well. Okay, so it's on. I made way too much today, so I'm just trying to put as much on as I possibly can, just not to waste it. All right, so I always just like to show you guys. I say always like I've been doing this more than just like one day. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. I'm not gonna lie, it's been over 15 minutes just because I've been standing here trying to take a thumbnail. But oh my goodness, my face like really stings. So I'm gonna go, it's itchy. I'm gonna go wash it off and then in the shower and I will come back and let you guys know how my skin looks. By the way, one thing really quick, if you're gonna use this, be very careful in the shower. If you have a drain that is sensitive or that is close to being clogged, this will probably expedite the process of your drain getting clogged because this stuff is really thick, so just be careful. But I will be back. So my oils are on and this is what my skin looks like, so it's probably better if I zoom in. Not nearly as red as yesterday, although still really red around the cheeks and just in general red but I feel like it's definitely not nearly as red as my skin was yesterday. That was like crazy. The forehead looks pretty good. Yesterday I was a little worried that I was gonna end up with a breakout. This pimple right here, looking like something's gonna poke through, but I'm interested to see how this is gonna turn out because either this is just gonna be nothing or it's gonna turn into a huge, gross, cystic acne thing. So it is day three and I have some really amazing skincare updates. So my skin looks amazing and I feel like I just looked really good today. Not trying to toot my own horn, but like my face, I don't know, I just looked super glowy. And the funny thing is, I, I don't know if I just had like a really busy day or what, but I kind of forgot that I was even using this mask. So like I was at work and I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, wow, I look really good. And then when I came home and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna say? for my skincare update or my skin update after using the mask on day three. And I was like, oh my God, I looked so good today. My skin looked amazing. So I don't notice any like significant breakouts. Like I thought that I was gonna notice except for this pimple, which I don't even think it's there anymore. Just thinking about it now, I feel like this is not something that you should do every day continuously um, after doing it every day for a week. But I feel like if you're gonna do this every day for a week, it's just a really great way to like detox your skin. I don't know, and just to like replenish your skin because my skin looked so good today and that was after using the mask for two days. Again, I'm gonna do this for 15 minutes as I did yesterday and the day before. And then I'll show you guys what my skin looks like when I get out of the shower. Looking into these lights is making my eyes hurt because I'm so unbelievably exhausted. But anyway, so I'm gonna go to sleep right after this. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. But anyway, I noticed that the pimple that I had coming through like over here is completely gone now. I don't see any sight of it at all. Not sure if that is related to the Aztec clay mask, but I'm pretty sure that if I wasn't using the Aztec clay mask, the pimple that I had here yesterday would have like sprouted into something a lot bigger. My skin looks really, really good. I have zero blemishes. So 
my hypothesis that this was <laughs> I look so tired my hypothesis that this was going to cause breakouts is not accurate because there are no breakouts yet but again it's only day three so I have to sneeze hopefully my skin will good oh and let me just do an up close look at my skin I'm so tired look at my eyes okay so this is day four of me trying the Aztec clay mask for seven days in a row. And one thing that I noticed is that I have no active breakouts, which is great. I'm actually expecting my period within the next week, week and a half. Typically when that happens, I get some sort of breakout on my forehead, but I have no breakouts on my forehead at all. And I have no breakouts anywhere, which is great. And as I said before, my skin has been really clear recently, but I feel like I've always had just like one or two pimples somewhere in my face and I have no pimples anywhere on my face at all, so that is amazing. In terms of acne scarring, I feel like it's kind of too soon to tell. It's only on day four, but I do notice that my forehead looks a lot less red than it typically does. Um, typically, I have like a lot of redness on my forehead, and although it is still red, as you guys can see like right here from some um, acne scars, I feel like it is a lot less red. I do notice that right here, my skin is still super red under my nose is red, but I feel like that part of my face is just red. And I don't think that that's related to acne whatsoever because I've actually never really had that um, intense breakouts on my cheeks at all. It's mainly just on my jawline and on my forehead. My jawline, the acne scars, they look regular to me. Oh, wait a second. I do see one pimple right here, which is really weird because I it's like a really small one, but I never get pimples on my cheeks as I just said, but I see one right here so maybe there was like some i don't know something underneath and it's just sprouted out from the mask i don't know that's really weird also i did have mcdonald's today and i had ice cream twice this week so that could be it although i don't i don't know okay so let me make this and then i will check back in Okay, so the mask is on and I had to put a lot on first of all because I made too much again. And before I really layered it on, and even right now you can see that pimple that I showed you guys right here peeking through the mask. So I feel really bad complaining about one tiny pimple because it's literally the smallest thing. And I know people have it a lot worse and I used to have it a lot worse, but I do just think it's interesting. Like I never get pimples here and there is one there poking out. This is what my skin is looking like after I get out of the shower. Again, still super red. I think it is because of the mask, obviously. The mask was pulsating extra today, and I think that that might be because I left it on for a little bit longer than 15 minutes, but it looks really clear for the most part. And the funny thing is, the pimple that I have right here already looks like it's going down. So far, I'm really liking it. I have oily combination skin and this is working really well. I also have extremely sensitive skin, so because of that, I was a little bit nervous just because my skin is so sensitive and I feel like if I do anything different with it or use any type of new product, my skin will break out. But with this, it's not breaking out at all and I do have really sensitive skin. So, although I'm not done with this seven day challenge already, I'm seeing that the Aztec clay mask seems to be working well for my sensitive and oily skin. Okay, so this is the end of day five. And you know, today I didn't really notice that I looked amazing. I actually thought that my skin looks kind of dry today, so I'm not sure if that's related to the mask. I don't know if maybe the mask is like drying out my skin. As a matter of fact, I put the oils on my face about 15 minutes ago and my skin is already starting to absorb the jojoba oil, which usually it takes a lot longer. So it could be related to the mask because my skin is usually super oily. But this is the end of day five and so far my skin looks great. Acne scars are looking a little bit more prominent than usual, but that might just be because the mask made my face really red this evening. But the main thing is that I don't have any breakouts at all on my face, which is amazing. And I don't have any pimples besides this one little one right here. And I honestly thought that by day five, I would have like some huge breakout because I was like, there's no way that using this mask for seven days is going to leave my skin looking amazing. I'm definitely gonna break out because I do have really sensitive skin, but I'm so surprised that I haven't broken out at all. And as a matter of fact, it's the opposite. Like I don't have any acne at all. So 
um, just on day five if you guys do struggle with acne I already do recommend you guys to try this because I feel like it really does help to restore your skin so I will see you guys tomorrow for day six so I wanted to do a midday skincare update because holy crap when I was washing my face this morning, I could not believe how smooth my skin was. So, you know when you are washing your face and you look at your skin and you think like, oh, it doesn't look that bad, but then you touch it and you're like, whoa, where did all these bumps and irritation and just like flakes of skin come from? Well, when I was washing my face today, I had absolutely none of that and my skin felt like a baby's bum. It was so smooth. I haven't felt my skin this smooth in years, I feel like. So unless on day seven, I all of a sudden start to break out profusely on my face, I'm already giving this seven day um, Aztec clay mask challenge two thumbs up because oh my goodness, my skin looks and feels absolutely amazing. I am just in shock. Again, this is day six. I still haven't put the mask on today. I will check back in when it's in the evening time when I do the mask. This is what my skin is looking like. So this pimple right here, I know it's not that bad, but it's just getting strong, uh, bigger throughout the day. And the funny thing is that my forehead is exactly where I get acne when I'm PMSing. But the good thing is that this pimple seems to be a lot smaller than the other pimples that I get when I'm PMSing. Like typically I'll get like a big cystic pimple when I'm PMSing, but that one's really small. So I'm sure that that has something to do with the Aztec clay mask because that's, I don't know, that's the only thing that I can think of. Other than that, my skin has been feeling and looking amazing. I just washed my face, took my makeup off, and it's time to make the mask. The thing about the Aztec clay mask is that you have to be very, very specific in the measurements. Whew, I almost just knocked over the as apple cider vinegar. So even if you put just like a little bit too much of the actual powder, it will make it too thick. And if you put just even a little tiny bit extra of liquid, it'll be way too watery, so. All right, so I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and then I will rinse it off and come back and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so I just took the, uh, I just took, I don't know why I'm knocking everything down today. I almost dumped out all of my jojoba oil. So I just took the mask off and let's put on my moisturizer. Okay, so I feel like my skin is looking great. It is a little red. I don't know, I feel like it's not as red as it was yesterday. And I think that that's because I did not leave the mask on for as long as I did yesterday. But wow, I just, I don't know, I'm like in awe at how good my skin looks. I mean, my skin has been good re recently, but I also feel like ever since I started to use this, my skin has just looked and physically felt a lot better. Acne scars are still pretty visible. The redness is there, but after about like an hour after the mask, the acne scar or the redness pretty much goes away. That's the only pimple that I have right now and it's so small. All right, so this is the end of day six. It's day six, wow, I can't believe we're almost done with this. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So please don't judge me for the look of my nose right now. I filmed another, another one of those blackhead vacuum videos and it was a complete flop. I just have to deal with the fact that I don't know how to use blackhead vacuums and you guys are never gonna see the video. Except for this, this is the final day of my Aztec clay mask challenge. So let's look at my face to see how things are going. So as I told you guys, please ignore this. I'm gonna cover it. So um, I have like a few things going on on my forehead that are very small. Those are just period related. And I definitely think it's because of the mask that they're so small. So you can't even really see them. They're just tiny. Everywhere else on my face, everything looks good. Nothing at all. And I definitely think it's because of this mask. So even though I think that this mask has been amazing for my skin and I feel like we don't really need to do this another day because I think the results are clear. It's amazing for your skin. Just to finish it off, we can do the very last day. All right, so the mask is on and let's wait 15 minutes for everything to dry and pulsate on my face. Oh my gosh, I am really stressing about my nose here. 
Uh, okay, but this, regardless, this is not what the video is about, but this is stressing me out. Okay. Anyway, I just washed the mask off. All right, so this was the final day of doing the mask. My skin looks the same since before I did the mask, except it's a little bit more red, and that's just because the mask is making my face really pulsate. Sorry about the noise, my boyfriend is doing the dishes. Sorry if I seem a little bit out of it, I'm really tired. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed, and yeah, this was the very last day, so I think I'm just gonna film an outro clip just to wrap up the video. So I will see you then. Okay guys, so that is that. That is how the Aztec Clay Mask has worked for my skin. I think that it worked wonders for my skin. I just feel like my skin looks amazing, and the crazy thing is that this is day one of my period, so my skin should look like absolute but it doesn't, it looks so good. And I am 100% sure it is because of the Aztec clay mask because that is literally the only thing that I've been doing differently with my skin. So I'm obsessed with this. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with me through this journey of skincare and everything like that. I love recommending products to you guys, especially ones that I have been obsessed with um, and that I think work amazing for sensitive, oily combination skin. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.